Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. It has just been revealed what will happen if court annuls presidential election after May 29. This is what has been revealed by Dr. Sam Ahmadi, who said, it will made obvious pardon what will happen if court annuls the presidential election after May 29. Of course, we've been hearing about the DSS alleges interim government plot. And now, this is just the full gist of what is happening. As Dr. Sam Ahmadi has uh, come to our Rising News you know, station to actually give his own POV on this issue. He gave his own point of view you know, concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. And he also revealed what will happen if the court annuls the presidential election after the May 29. According to the news, it has been said amid palpable tension over the official statements put out by the Department of State Service, DSS, on the plots from certain persons in the country to install an interim government. Renowned lawyer and political analyst Dr. Sam Ahmadi has come out to give reasons why such a warning from the nation's uh, secret police does not hold uh, water. According to the news, speaking during an interview on Arise TV's news nights a few hours ago, Amadi explained that there is no provision for an interim government in the constitution, describing it as a contraption that was made up for no reason. According to him, should the courts annul the February 25th presidential elections and order a fresh poll? After Buhari has handed over to the president-elect on May 29, the constitution says that the Senate president must take charge of running the country's affair until fresh elections are conducted and a winner emerges. He said there is a constitution now uh, there is a constitutional framework pardon that deals with an you know that deals with any challenge pardon to the presidency. There is no such thing as an interim government in the way people conceive it. People think it is an external contraption that deals with an emergency or unscripted gap in governance. It's not true. First of all, if for any reason the election tribunal decides to an you know to nullify the election and ask for a rerun. And maybe before the re-election, Mr. President Steno has expired on May 29, the Constitution is very clear on what should happen. In this case, the President and his Vice must leave office and the Senate's President steps in until June 4, when the new National Assembly comes in. At that point, the Chief Justice of Nigeria must then step into the office of the President until a fresh election is conducted and a winner emerges. So, this talk of an interim government is a contraption. There is no such provision in the constitution. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this print development? It has just been made obvious. And a lot of Nigerians will say, this man is a sane man and is speaking with a sane mind. We've just heard, according to him, should the court annul the February 25th presidential election and order for a fresh poll after Buhari's handed over to the president-elect on May 29? The constitution says that the Senate president must take charge of running the country's affair until fresh elections are conducted and a winner emerges. So, if probably President Mohamed Buhari's tenure is expired and he and his vice, you know, leaves the office and the uh, just concluded February 25th presidential elections needs to be redone if there should be a rerun you know as probably ordered by the courts then we will have the senate president you know according to the constitution the senate president must take charge of running the country's affair until the fresh elections are conducted and a winner emerges so this is uh these are things that are tends to happen if uh the february 25th is being annulled 
Looking at this present situation of things in Nigeria, do you think Atenebu's victory can actually be turned over? Do you think there can possibly be a re-election? Well, according to him, there is a constitutional framework that they use with any challenge to the presidency. There is no such thing as an interim government in the way people conceived it, just like the DSS is alleging interim government plots. People think it is an external contraption that deals with an emergency or unscripted gap in the governance. It's not true. Looking at it, first of all, for, you know, if for any reason, pardon, the election tribunal decides to nullify the election and ask for a rerun, and maybe before the re-election, Mr. President Steno has expired on May 29, then the constitution is very clear on what should happen. Now, in this case, the president and his vice must leave the office and the Senate president steps in until June 4, when the new National Assembly comes in. At that point, the Chief Justice of Nigeria must step into the office of the president until a fresh election is conducted and a winner emerges. So, this talk of an interim government is a contraption. There is no such provision in the constitution. That is what has been made clear by Dr. Sam Ahmadi who has made uh, uh, obvious what would happen if courts announced the presidential election after May 29. Well, I would like you to let us know your own take on this, like to share your own reaction with us uh, via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's people's reactions to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Gigi. He would not react to this and said a sound mind speaking, not all those market talks. All the things we have been hearing are just market talks, but this that has been said by, you know, Dr. Sam Amadi is what we are going to follow because this is a sound mind talking. This is a sound mind speaking and he is speaking from a sane our brain what is your take to this what to have chuku emmanuel also reacted and said that is the true picture of the constitution of the country this man has just shown the true picture of the constitution of the country the country has a constitution that has to be followed whatever happens to the presidency has already been decided by the constitution and the way to go about it so nothing can happen in nigeria that is not already in the constitution and must be followed respectively the way it is written it must be followed accordingly we just hope that we will have a better nigeria after all these things because a lot of things is actually tends to happen now as regards to what we've been hearing of recent we would like you to let us know your own take on what has been said thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on other news Bye for now.